year. We were pleased with the year and we thought we must also support the shareholders and pay a decent dividend. Oh, well, just taking a look at work group division, because the revenue uh, there was up around 18%, so clearly one of your best performers uh, the, this time round. What contributed to work group doing so well? We know that you focus on virtualization and, and of course, the data center being relatively key. Yes. The technologies they sell are very relevant and fast-growing technologies. You, you were right. Virtualization, data center, that's all the key words. That's what people need to invest in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, nobody's uh, storing less data, the data center needs more space. We invested into IBM, which is a great brand for us. So I think it's a combination of big brands that we've brought in as well as the technologies that we sell are really in demand. Uh, what kind of growth opportunities do you uh, foresee for the likes of work group? I mean, visualization, of course, that is the key word right now for South Africa and for data capturing as well. Do you see more growth down the line? Definitely. Uh, again, it's, it's all going to be at the data center where people have to invest more into large data servers, data storage, uh, then on, on, in the front end you're going to have your visualization. People will go and say, well, let me not use uh, fat line, let's go for thin lines. Uh, it's that whole ev evolution of let's becoming more efficient, let's use our hardware better, and that's going to drive that growth. Uh, data net, your revenue was up only 4%, and, and purely because the construction industry took quite a knock, but what you have been doing is diversifying your revenue streams. Tell us a little bit more about that. We bought a, bought a company called Central Voice. They focus uh, and voice type product, my child, Alcatelucent. I've put that into DataNet. So it's giving DataNet another avenue. Uh, the construction industry, although uh, construction was not bad, the investment into new buildings and infrastructure wasn't good, and therefore DataNet had a quite a tough year. With a voice product coming in, I think it's going to give us another avenue, and uh, I, I certainly expect DataNet this year to perform a lot better. Tell us about your order book when it comes to Infrasol, because it's obviously the first year that's, uh, that it's been operating. Yes. Infrasol does um, infrastructure rollout, so they do cabling jobs, AV solutions. They've got quite a nice order book. The order book takes um, a, a while to build up, and then you've got it. It's almost like the construction industry, and you start to work it. So they've got a, a very nice order book. I don't expect too much for Infrasol the first year, but certainly over, over the next couple of years, I think it's going to be quite a star performer in our group. Nice margin. Um, what margins are we looking at here? Probably double than what we can do on the hardware side. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, looking at the likes of Sharp, because you acquired this in December 2009, uh, order book is quite reliant on governments. Not really. The Sharp brand is well known, but not people don't realize that they do such a good MFP product, um, the copier product. They've got a fantastic offering, good security, and the corporate market will, will really like to do it. So we, we believe banking is going to be good for us, insurance, where there's confidential information that you don't want other people to get hold of. What people don't realize, a copier actually stores the data that you copy. So they take the old copy, chuck it out and put a new one in and don't realize the amount of data that's now available for anybody else. With Sharp, you don't have it. It destroys the data and the data is confidential. So I think it's going to be a good market for us. Right. Pinnacle Africa, your revenue was up only about 6.8%. Uh, government ICT spend was down due to lower tax collections as well. A big focus on the World Cup and that perhaps took a little bit of a focus off various industries. Do you expect uh, uh, Pinnacle Africa to turn around extensively from here onwards? Yes. W we, there's a lot of projects in government that eventually will have to be executed. So we know there's, there's pent up demand. Whether it's going to happen before our financial year in next year, June, I don't know. But I, I believe that over time, you know, our, our government has said they, they're committed to e-government. E they, want, they want to enable people. They want people to have access to, to, to the information without going into government offices. All of that's going to take uh, technology, and uh, that's where we would like to play. So over time, we will see that demand coming back. Mm. Looking at uh, your bad debts, 13 million rand charger, we've been seeing some business failures coming through as well and obviously that impacted that. Do you think that that is as worse uh, or as bad as it's going to get? Do you foresee a turnaround? We, in 2008, we warned our, uh, our investors saying we, we think 2009 is going to be tough. The econ economic climate was tough and we thought we would see some failures. We, we provided for it, so, so when you see that banded right of that was a fraction of what we actually lost and the rest was, was insured for. So there was a lot of business failures. We believe the, the bulk has been done. We, uh, we know that the economy has turned slightly. 
our partners, our customers look healthier. So we think we, we threw the worst of it, yeah. Mm. Looking at your trade days, outstanding uh, increased by around, or to around 52.4 days. And it's really got to do with government debt that's outstanding. But you do say that it's secure. It's Are you secure. confident Are you go that you're going to be getting yeah, that, that it's, money it's, in? It's from, from government departments. Mm. Um, they pay. You know, I think, again, because of the World Cup, uh, not everybody was always available to do all the necessary paperwork, but we, we've got no concern about that money. Mm. It, it, seems, it's it seems that a lot of businesses have been complaining about the World Cup and the negative impact that it has had on its business, purely because there was a lot of focus elsewhere. Uh, do you think that from now onwards we're going to be seeing um, the efforts and energies pushed into uh, other sectors of the economy? Well, certainly. You know, the, the bit of negativity that we experience is nothing with what we're going to experience, the positiveness from the World Cup. The World Cup is going to be tremendous for us for the, for the years to come. So as business, we, we're very pleased with it. Um, we, well, I think focus is back. I think government has also now uh, settled down after the strike. And I think it's going to be business as usual. But uh, we're going to have good years because of the World Cup. Mm. Well, looking at your CapEx spend, because last year it was a big CapEx year for you, what do you have in store thus far? You know, when a company grows, you have to invest into infrastructure. So we're looking at, at, at better facilities. We might have to spend quite a lot of money on a, on, a, on a large infrastructure development. We haven't decided yet, but again, you know, it's all it's all in line with business. As the business grows, you have to you have to spend you know on your infrastructure. Mm. And going forward, looking at the job scenario that is playing out, we have relatively positive sentiment coming through. We've just had an interest rate cut. There's still a lot of concern, though, on a global level, uh, that we are going to be seeing perhaps more just ruinous coming through, um, perhaps a double dip scenario playing out in some areas of the economy. Do you think your company is well uh, um, in a good position, perhaps, to weather any kind of storm that comes to the fore? Certainly, we've proved it. In 2009, we, we showed we can grow through um, the economic climate. We showed uh, this year as well we can grow. Um, we, we're in a desirable part of the economy. You know, people have to invest in technology, and it's it's not something that you really can put off. You know, if you need more more facility, you need it. So we will go through it, and and, and I'm quite bullish about the, the year forward. Looking at the RAND um, and, and the foreign exchange scenario that's played out for Pinnacle, uh, you've actually made a profit of 20 million RAND, and a vast turnaround from what we saw last year. Are you planning to put any hedges in place to try and ensure that you do benefit down the line as well? We have to. You know, we Obviously, the, the loss in 2009 taught us a lesson, and, and this year we've been a lot more conservative, and we work with hedges. And at these low levels, we might want to capitalize on it. You know, the, the RAND is at a at a fantastic level um, you know, if you want to buy and import. So yeah, we might have to eat some of it. Mm. Uh, looking at the overall scenario that is playing out from a technology perspective in South Africa, what do you think the main focus is going to be down the line and how do you plan to capitalize on this? I think it's going to be consolidation. I think as all companies say, the economy might not be as, as, as bullish as they want. Let's, let's do some cost saving. Let's, let's capitalize on our infrastructure. Let's um, utilize that more, maybe save on, on some heads. So I think it's going to be a case of the virtualization of bigger iron in the back end, less machine on the front end. That's a type of uh, development that will come through.